Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this video is gonna be about uh, Google Earth Flight Simulator, but uh, there was something I forgot. Um, there was basically, you know, somebody made a note saying, hey, Ray, I, you know, I'm looking at Google Earth. I'm, I'm in Google Earth and everything, but I don't see how to get into Flight Simulator, and that is my fault. Basically, I, I realized that a while ago, Google Earth made a web application of Google Earth. You can be on the internet, and uh, using Google Chrome, you can go right to Google Earth and start using it. What they don't have is Google Earth Flight Simulator built into that application. Let's go into this and check it out. And let's go to Google. If we're gonna do a search for Google Earth, we'll go ahead and do that and it will come up. This is a Wikipedia article, but here's Google Earth over here. Let's go to their website. A drop down will come up from the top of the screen and we can launch Google Earth right there. So it's like, you don't have to do anything. Just go ahead and punch it in. And this is what it looks like from the internet popping in. And I just saw the clouds move. So I tend to think that this is actually a live uh, representation of the clouds um, as they are right now. So here's the issue. Uh, here's a fun thing, actually. If you look at this here, the earth was rotating around and everything. Down here in the corner, watch when I rotate the globe, that, that turns too. So when, I, you know, when the globe starts out and it's rotating around and everything, spinning on its axis, down here, this little model of it in the bottom right hand corner, that was too, so that's kind of cool. The thing that this uh, version of the software doesn't have is it doesn't have, um, it doesn't have Flight Simulator. So even though it's a really cool, uh, very educational, informational piece of software, it is really, really great. Uh, but those of us who are aviation enthusiasts kinda don't even use it because it doesn't have Google Earth Flight Simulator built into it. So where do you find that? And that's what this video is really all about. Up here along the top, it says Earth Versions. So if you click on that, you're gonna see the one we were just in was Google Earth on the web. Then we have Google Earth on the mobile devices. I've never used this. I have no idea what it's all about. Um, and this one here you just saw. And then Google Earth Pro. Now, the Google Earth Pro used to be a pay-as-you-go software. You'd pay to use it, right? And it may have even have been a subscription service. I can't remember specifically, but if you were gonna pay for it, I was gonna use it. And they had the free version of Google Earth, and that's the one I used. But today, when I updated my Google Earth Pro, it took away my old version of Google Earth. And I was like, what? I was very sad about it. So, um, but this is how you find it. <clears throat> and you go to Google, you know, you click on that um, button at the top, you know, just click on the application. It drops down to where it's at, and it's showing you on a laptop or a desktop. I use it on a desktop computer. Just click the download button, follow their prompts, and go ahead and install it on your laptop, on your desktop computer. Now let's uh, get rid of the internet here and go to, make sure I don't have it open down here. I do actually, so let's just go ahead and close that window. And let's reopen Google Earth Pro from scratch. Now you normally would get a pop-up window here with tips, tricks, techniques, and educational, informational, stuff like that, and that's great. And by the way, this focused in on the United States and wherever you are in your part of the world, wherever you told your computer you are, I'm pretty sure it would focus in on that part of the world. Um, but what we have here is a, the controls are slightly different. I've set this up in the settings. Um, let me see here, help, nope, tools. Here we go, options. I've gone through the options. I'm not gonna do that right now, but I've gone through and got this thing set up to work the way I wanted it to work, and it does very nicely. Now the other, th and, and by the way, this is indeed, you know, how do you get to Google Earth Flight Simulator is in the standalone desktop application. What I wanna do here before I go down to the ground, I wanna take away the 3D stuff there and I wanna zoom in south of Miami International Airport. I wanna get down to these housing areas down here and I wanna tilt up towards the airport itself. Now, what we don't see, we, we get a flat earth kind of thing going on here, right? The buildings, everything are flat. Um, they are the most current information and stuff that we have and Miami International Airport. Now, if we go here, <clears throat> and this is a thing that was another thing of contention for me personally, is I go over here to the 3D buildings. I don't want to look at gray buildings, which are like, they're not sure exactly what the uh, very specifics of the building look like. So they put a gray block building there. The gray block building is the proper shape, but it's just a gray block building. I don't want to see anything like that. I only want to see the photorealistic buildings and there they are. Now, where are all the houses? The houses are still flat. This building right here that's uh, three dimensional, that's uh, Burger King International Headquarters. That's where Burger King Headquarters is right next to Miami International Airport. Nice and convenient. A control tower pops up and a rudimentary three-dimensional view of the airport shows up in some of the hangars. Nice, but I wanna see more than that. I like to see a whole lot of detail 
and I found out it's in this terrain button down here. You have to click on the terrain button and then everything else pops into being. Okay, so let's get down a little lower to the houses and you see the trees and everything. Now notice there is, it says trees here and the gray buildings over here, over here on the left and this uh, thing where it says 3D buildings. I only want to see photorealistic. So these trees are actually trees that are there. The computers have done the you know analysis and everything and to the best of their ability, boom, these trees are real trees that are really there to the best of their ability to be that way, right? That's a lot of computer processing going on to make these trees there, right? Uh, and then the airport will be in a whole lot more detail, right? The west side, the east side over here. We're facing north, by the way. So this is the east side of the airport over here. And remember, if we go north from here, we'll see another airport, which is right here. And these buildings are popping into place here. So that's all great. That's fine and dandy. Um, now, what I want to do is I want to show one more thing is let's go up to where I used to live down here in Broward County. And I want to go to our, our old house. Um, this, yeah, you know, I just want to show two cool things about this. And you might, uh, you know, be able to see some really fun things in Google Earth and Street View and all that kind of stuff too. Uh, one of the things is uh, my car. <laughs> this uh, this uh, little Honda Civic right here is my car. The funny thing about this, and it's kind of interesting, you know, to me, it's very interesting. And my wife thought it was really cool too. The car is out here in the driveway, but it's actually sticking out past the uh, uh, past the. Uh, the driveway itself is actually sticking out into the street a little bit and the and the front end is almost invisible but the back end is visible right we pretty much are under the agreement that my car is probably in motion i'm probably actually sitting in my car and uh i can't really tell for sure because it's hard to see a person in there but um it doesn't matter i'll show where i am at in google earth in a minute but um my car the funny thing about it is i always kept the car in the garage i never kept the car out in the street i always kept it in the garage so I was either coming home or leaving at that particular point when they uh, got the imagery to make the 3D model of it. Now, these are our mailboxes over there, <laughs> ironically. The house is here, and here's a set of mailboxes over here on the left. Uh, but up here in the top center part of the screen, these are our, the mailbox for the house and the office. And um, I, am, I, I went to go check the mail one day, and uh, I showed up in Google Earth. The car came through in the neighborhood, and that is me. Blurry face and everything. That's me walking around checking my mail, right? There's a mail in my hand, prove it, right? So uh, that's kind of an interesting thing. Uh, very cool. So, uh, you know, you might be surprised on what you'll find in Google Earth uh, one day. And, and here's a really funny thing. I don't live anywhere near here at this point. But if you want to see uh, the three-dimensional three buildings, um, make sure that you got your, uh, let's get down here close to the ground. Uh, you want to see that as many, not everything is three-dimensional everywhere. Okay, that's that's a, a big thing. But this down in the bottom left over here, it says terrain. If I click on terrain, everything goes flat screen. Uh, I mean, flat earth kind of stuff. And if we click on terrain, then we get to see the 3D dimensional stuff. So that's a, the other thing I wanted to point out there. Uh, one more thing I want to share with you before I go uh, on this video is how I manipulate planet Earth here in uh, Google Earth. And uh, let's go back to the internet for that. And I have two types of mice that I use. Uh, this is actually what I'm using right now for most of my presentations and everything. This is the device that I'm using. It is a non-center wheel kind of mouse, which leads to the fact that I have two mice hooked up to my computer. But this is a trackball. I find Google Earth Flight Simulator, it, for me, is easier to use like this because I don't move this around. I just move the ball around. I don't have to slide this whole thing across my desk. The other thing that I have is this mouse right here. Um, I thought I paid more for that. Anyways. But this mouse right here is uh, very useful and helpful. And there are some things, even my editing program and some video games I play. Um, the center wheel is a very useful tool to have and mandatory for one game that I play, the one I make the video game videos about, right? So, uh, but you need a wheel. You got to have it or you can't. There's some certain selection things you can't do without having it. So, uh, but I tend to think that there is a way to put a wheel on this thing somewhere somehow, but I don't want to have to buy another mouse. <laughs> So I just bought this one here and it gave me the application and the uh, stuff I need to use. And flying around an airplane using this kind of mouse too, um, I find it's still easy. I just prefer this one here because I don't have to move this. I just rest my hand on this part of it and just with my fingertips move it around. All right. Um, one last thing on the Google Earth uh, front here. If you're interested, if you're honestly interested in more information about uh, Google Earth, especially the flight simulator aspect, if there's anything you'd like to see or anything you'd like to know about or questions you'd like to ask, by all means, make comments below. 
I am very willing to make more videos about Google Earth and Google Earth Flight Simulator and the way I use it and the things I use it for. Um, and I, I have no you know problem sharing that with people, but there has to be an interest in it. Um, I think that these kind of videos are good for a long period of time, which is why I'm even more willing to make them. And one of my top videos on my YouTube channel is actually the heads up display in Google Earth Flight Simulator. But uh, the main point of this video was to point out that if you're using the Google Earth um, web-based uh, application, that it doesn't have Google Earth Flight Simulator in it. You have to download it from Google and it's the pro version. Uh, just go to their uh, website and go to Google Earth, uh, click on when it comes down, the Earth versions. And then down over here, you're gonna see Google Earth Pro for your laptop or desktop and go ahead and install it that way. And, and I'm, I'm very willing to help people out uh, learn how to use this thing. And Google Earth also, separately from the flight simulator part, the desktop version of Google uh, Earth is a fascinating tool that uh, my wife and I use this thing constantly. Almost every single day we are in there looking at something or doing something, or if I want to take a break from my studies or whatever, then I am flying around on Google Earth Flight Simulator. So anyways, with that, don't forget to give me, uh, forget to give me a thumbs up, like this video, make comments below, let me know. And, uh, until, uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.